Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Tad. You might recognize me from my mom's YouTube channel, The Kavorix. Go uh, subscribe to her channel. While you're at it, go subscribe to my friends, Diddy G. He will be with us today, or for part of the day. Um, we will be giving you guys a tour of the ranch and all of that. So first of all, we are here in our barn. And um, let's get right into the video. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the bathroom. Yeah. So this is the like the tack area. We've got all of our fly spray for Carly, my show heifer, or you'll see here in a little bit. Um, this is like a razor we cut her hair with, some brooms. Um, we got ropes and stuff up there. We got a couple guns up there. Um, um, we got this, this is, um, like needles and some vaccines and stuff. I have no clue what's in here. Um, tags, you write down numbers for our calves. And then we got some taggers, different types, tags, um, a cooler right here. This is a milk box. And then we just got buckets, different types of buckets. And then in our trash bags. We have feed for Carly. Um, this is a volumizer, helps with her hair. This is a growth, and that's just to get her fatter and just bigger. So that's that part of it. And then we've got our fridge, microwave for night calving, um, freezer, deer meat, goose meat, um, duck, everything is in there. Fridge, water, pretty sure some beer in there. How about later? Um, and then we just got some um, guns and all that. And then just nothing really in here. Just a bunch of shelves with extra, um, just extra vaccines. And probably some AI gloves. We'll explain that in other videos. Um, like that. Hangers. We have our hired hand. He pretty much hangs all of his work stuff in here. Um, while we're at it, I will show you guys the barn. Now, after you saw um, our barn, like our calving barn, we will be showing your equipment slash machines and here. So this is our equipment slash like machines. Um, our hunting dog, he's in here. This is his kennel, the food, um, and then tools and everything are in here all that stuff. And then this is mineral and salt for our cattle. When we go out and put out salt and mineral and stuff, which I'll probably show you in a couple videos, going out and the salt and mineral. And then this is our oil. We have oils and different kind of stuff over here. And then wood and stuff. And then this is our feed rack, our tractor. It's a case IH uh, Puma, and that's in here. We have a different type of technology. Um, we have iPads. So to, uh, we have an iPad here, and then we have an iPad in our um, payloader, which is out on our feed pad. And those two sync together to form rations for the cattle at our backgrounding yard. This is a um, Bluetooth. Um, scale head connects to our feed wagon in the back and we upgraded just a couple months ago we uploaded um, not tractors but we uploaded um, feed wagons so that's a bigger better holds more feed just a better feed wagon so this is our feed wagon um, it's a really nice feed wagon has two um, spinners in the back. It is really, really big. I will show you guys the inside. Um, as you can probably see, it barely even clears like the top of the top of the building. It's huge. I mean, I don't know how tall you think this is, Jace. I don't know, like fifty feet. Ten foot. It barely clears the top by like 
10 feet. It's pretty big. All right, so that is uh, the south side of the barn. Um, I'll be showing you the north side. So the opposite, let me see the opposite side. Um, you have just equipment, just, just stuff that we just throw together into one side of it. Um, we have salt, mineral again, there's different types of mineral and stuff. And then the decoys. We are a big goose hunting family. We goose hunt a lot. And we duck hunt a lot too. So we have a bunch and a bunch of decoys. We probably have double this still too. Two lay down blinds. Um, our four wheelers, our three four wheelers. Um, they're all Honda. Really nice. Um, and then our dog. I don't know where he is. He's probably somewhere else. Um, his name's Doug. Uh, he's a ranch dog. He's a border collie crossed with a McNabb. He's black and white. And um, he rides on the back of the four wheelers. So that's why there's scrapes right here. Um, scrapes right here. It's from his claws. I mean, he, he, he sits on the back of the four wheeler. And so he kind of scrapes and he jumps off and he chases after cattle. I'll probably show you in that in a later video of us moving cattle with him. And uh, he's a great dog. He's like an extra, he's like an extra farm hand. And it's awesome. So that's pretty much the barn or the equipment shop. We just have payloaders, tractors, four wheelers, just every, every type of equipment that you can find is in here. I mean, there's really nothing else to say or to talk about in this barn. I mean, I don't want to go over every single tool. I mean, that would take forever. But a dog. This is Duke. He is our um, hunting dog. So when you go goose hunting, go duck hunting, he tags along with us. And he is a great, great dog. He's still a pup. He's probably two. Um, right around Doug's age. Doug's two as well. And Doug had an ACL surgery a couple a month ago. So he's, he recovered from that. But yeah, that's, that's Duke. He's a lab, yellow lab. And Doug. So they're not the same. We have one dog. So we have two dogs, necessarily. So yeah, that's the barn, or the machine shop, and the thing. We have her fur bowls and her fur bowls only. Uh, my grandpa, he lives in Montana. He has a really big Hereford um, producer. He's a big Hereford producer. And he sells bulls once a year in March. So I'm sure I will tag you guys along with that and show you guys that. But that's in March. So still another year. But that's our bull. They're horned. They're not pulled. They're horned Herefords. Um, that's either the second or third bull that my dad has bought. And then that's our donor cow. She's also from my grandpa's. Um, that he, that my dad bought a year ago. Um, she has been a great preferred cow for us. Um, and that's really all I can say. She's just a really solid, really good cow. And I bet a lot of you guys don't know what cows and bulls tell a difference of them. Um, but I mean, I hope you guys can. <laughs> but so yeah, those are our cows. And then my dad's starting a um, he's going to be selling her, or not her, but he's going to be selling Angus bulls. So we're starting a registered Angus um, herd, and he will be selling those. He already sold, we sold 18 this year. So we'll be selling again next year. If you guys are interested, comment down below, all of that. And uh, if any of you guys are watching that are, that live on a ranch, comment down below what your favorite type of breed is whether it's Hereford, Angus, Semental, or any type of that. Comment down below what your favorite breed is. So over here is our bales. We have um, hay, just normal grass hay, and then we have um, corn stalks. And our corn is getting put up, or our corn is up already now, obviously. It's about knee, knee to waist high, so it's doing really, really well. But we need a rain. 
But yeah, so that we just separate. Those are corn stalks and then that's grass hay. And then that's our payloader. That's what we feed every morning. How we load and everything. And it's a, it's a case. It's really, it's really big and it's really handy. And uh, nice. We also have a skid loader. But that's getting worked on right now at the moment. So that will be on the ranch for a couple more weeks. Getting worked on one of the I don't know, one of the tracks fell off and they can't get it on and it broke and all that. So we just big thing and we can't we don't really want to work with that right now. But um, that's that's that pillar, it's big. It may look big, but it's really not. Stace's dad owns a um, a hauling company he hauls manure out of our pens into the cornfield and he has double the size of that pig loader to haul i mean his his manure spreaders are like 500 ton i mean they're huge aren't they like 500 ton yeah probably yeah our, the, your uh manure spreaders are like 500 ton so and they're they're really big so that may look big it really doesn't but that's tiny compared to his hay loaders and his manure spreaders and his tractor and they're so, probably up to the top of that haystack yeah they're they're huge so this is our hay it's um mixed with grass hay and um corn stalks so corn stalks grass hay and it's mixed and so those will be rationed out together and then so we have two pits one is completely filled with corn and one is completely filled with distillers now i don't think you have any distillers no you don't have any distillers but it's just like a mineral just kind of like a vitamin like if you guys were to take vitamins every morning that's pretty what, much what it's like for cows it's just vitamins and minerals and just stuff to keep them going throughout the day so this is our feed pad um really nothing much else to say about this um, other than I mean our grain bin that just has oats we keep oats in that but I mean yeah that's pretty much our feed pad and then out there that's our backgrounding yard through the um, winter both through the winter and pretty much all spring that whole thing back there is filled there's one two three four five six seven pens actually eight pens eight pens and they can probably hold 300 to 400 cattle in them so all of that is combined or not combined but all of that is full throughout the most of the year and the whole backgrounding yard that you guys see even over there by our barn which i guys which sorry but i didn't show you guys but all of that can hold between 3,000 and 4,000 cattle so it's a big i mean it's not a big operation but we still hold quite a bit of cattle. A lot, it's bigger than you most, than a lot of people hold. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the tour of our home, our homeland. Um, but we have other pastures and um, other, I don't know what you would call them, but like just other, you know, fenced in, all just other pastures and stuff around the ranch that is too far but we'll show you in a later video and stuff but uh yeah so that's my ranch um thank you guys for watching okay thank you guys for watching my video um i know it wasn't really the longest video but um i just kind of had to get my first video out there and just i mean it, it's a good video to show you guys my ranch and where i live and all that um and my video or my YouTube channel, I will be posting mainly golf content, but it's kind of like a vlog channel. So I'll be doing vlogs as well, but it's going to be mainly um, golf content. And also, I'd like to say thank you for my cameraman, Jace. Um, like I said, go subscribe to his YouTube channel, JDG. And uh, while you're at it, um, like, subscribe. And uh, comment down below what uh, other videos you would like to see. Uh, thanks, guys. Peace.